Hi Best Buds, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden and I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today we're going to make boho envelopes using our book page images. But first, let's have our shout out to Planning with Donna, Paula, Leslie, Colleen, Jackie, Gardening with Grandma, and Teresa. I appreciate each and every one of you. I am working out of the book that we started in, The Ultimate Book of Flowers by Kathleen Patterson. And I already selected a couple of pictures out of this book. And let's talk about what pictures you might want to be choosing. You want to be choosing some bright, vivid colored pictures as the snapdragons that are pictured here. Now, here's another beautiful picture, but it's not as vibrant as we need. It has a lot of green in it. These would work well, these bright yellow, but they're smaller and I wanted to show an example of a little larger envelope. This one would work as well too. And then this one on the back, this one is, doesn't have that pop that it needs. It's a really cool picture, super duper cool, but it doesn't have that pop that we need for a boho. This one had, if you cropped it so you just used this pink rhododendron, then it would work. That would be great. But these extra pieces out here, this green, that's not going to give you that boho feel that you are wanting when you're making a boho uh, piece of ephemera. So let's talk about how we want to crop this. Now let's go ahead and let's quickly measure this. This is approximately 7 inches across. So that means that our envelope is going to be 7 by 7 because that is the widest, well, this is the shortest distance that we have. So we can't make it, uh, we can't make it 9 by 9 because it's not 9 going across. So 7. So I would like to crop this to be, my 7 would be, I would cut this green out right here and I'd pull this in so I would really, really capture this really orangey, reddy, uh, yellow color right here. I really want to capture that. So to fit this into um, my cutting, I need to take it to my large guillotine. I'm going to come back with a 7x7 seven seven envelope. No, 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 no. A 7x7 seven seven piece of paper that we're going to make into an envelope. All right, so I have a 7x7 seven seven piece right here, and I think this is absolutely going to be beautiful. I'm going to turn it on the back side, and I am lightly going to mark by taking corner by corner. So I'm just lighting this up to corner by corner, and I'm making my little mark here. I'm just going to use a... Lightly use a pin. Well, it's not coming. Let me grab something else. That's not working. All right, so I have a little marker. Hopefully this will work better. Yeah, I made a little mark there. And I'm going to do the exact same thing over here. And I'm just lining it up, making my little line. And where the lines... Oh, I didn't even make a mark. Where It's hard to um, have the mark on the this paper there that marked already here's my other mark right here there's that one all right that's going to work so next what i want to do is i'm going to decide what is going to be the top and that means what's going to get folded in i think i would like it folded in here. I think that's going to be the top. So I'm going to take the side right here and I'm going to fold it where the lines intersect and I'm just going to give it a crease and then I'm going to take it to the other side and I'm folding this in to where the lines meet. I'm going to give it a crease and then I'm going to fold this up and I always like to, now as I look at this, yeah, that's going to be covered. I'm wondering if this might be better. 
yeah okay the reason why I'm choosing that is this is kind of faded where if I make this be my flap this is more vivid and that's what I'm looking for I'm looking for those vivid colors so I'm going to change my mind and I'm going to make this be the bottom so I'm taking this point and this point and I'm laying it on my grid line and I'm folding this up oh, approximately a half an inch and the reason why I use my line so much when making an envelope is that if I get it off and I fold it crooked I'm going to have a wonky envelope and I don't want a wonky envelope so yeah I like that a great deal let's go ahead and let's open this up and let's take out our notches so I'm just going to notch it right here and I'm going to notch it right here and I'm going to notch out this corner right there like that that keeps it from being too bulky it's going to take out that extra bulk now I have a dyed Easter egg yellow dyed piece of paper and I'm going to take my glue stick now you know I don't use glue sticks very often but I'm going to take my glue stick and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place my glue onto my back side of my envelope so I am going to use my machine for this project you do not have to if you do not have a machine or you're not going to use a machine then you'll want to make sure you get your glue to the corners of your envelope I am kind of staying away from mine because I am going to take it to the machine now I'm going to turn it so it's going to be glued onto my beautiful I don't know if you can see how bright this yellow is but it's pretty bright I'm going to glue this right on here just like that then I'm going to get my scissors and I'm going to trim this out so I'm just going to trim out my envelope right here after I have placed in the lining of my envelope so that's what the yellow is it's going to be the inside of our envelope so because we're making boho I wanted it to be as bright as possible so just trimming it out just like that I have one more side to go all right so next what I want to do I'm just looking at it I think I didn't do a very good job here I'm gonna leave it that's about as probably as good as I'm gonna get I'm gonna trim this out right here in the corner I'm gonna trim this out just like that all right so I have notched out the areas there now I am going to go ahead even though the ink does not come across on the printed book page it will catch on the bright yellow Easter dyed paper so I'm going to run my sponge around the inside of my envelope and then I am going to take it to the machine now like I said when we were gluing down this inside lining to our pocket I said if you don't want to sew or you're not able to sew that you would want to make sure you get your glue on the edge of your envelope base so you would not need to have made sure that you had placed your glue really close to the edge before you place down your lining paper I didn't do that because I knew I was going to take it to the machine and I was going to sew I'll be right back with this sewn piece all right I have mine all sewn around and let's go ahead and let's fold it back so we're folding up the bottom and we're folding in the sides since we've already creased it it will fold easily for you now right here where the middle piece comes up to a point I like to fold it back this way first just to get it lined up so I can see exactly where I want to put it and then I fold it back on itself so that we have that look that most envelopes have that 
goes straight across there. I'm actually going to take this to the machine. I'm going to sew it right there to complete my sewing. All right, so sewing has been completed. So you would just glue this right here. You would glue that down if you did not sew. So let's go ahead and let's seal this envelope. So I'm going to be placing my hot glue. You can use the glue of your choice. Hot glue makes it quick, simple, and easy for me while I'm doing my videos. I'm going to place my hot glue right here. I am not placing any glue right here in this flat area where the point was folded down. And I'm going to continue and put some glue on this side. So I'm going to do that now. Just adding my hot glue. And then taking this and folding it up. Simple as that. Now we have our completed envelope. Now I am not folding the flap down because we are making this or designing and decorating this as a stuffed envelope. So if you were if you were to use this in your junk journal, you would be gluing this part down onto your journal page and you could use this as a pocket. But let's go ahead and let's jazz it up and make it look more like a boho theme envelope. Now I have two that I'm going to show you at the end of the video and they're similar but different and I can show you what I mean in just a few minutes soon as we complete this. I've got some Sorry Silk from Crimson Heart Studio. I have some ruffles I have made with my polka dot uh, net that I purchased on uh, Amazon. I have some black eyelash yarn that I purchased from a thrift store. I have some black lace right here that I purchased on Amazon. I also have some red eyelash yarn that I also got from the thrift store. I'm not sure which one I want to use, but I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to set this aside and let's first start with our net ruffle. Now, if you obviously don't have a machine, you can do this by simply placing your glue down, taking either your finger or a card or even something like a spoon and pushing and pushing and you get your bumps as your ruffles. I'll show you how to do that as soon as I get this down because that's what we're going to do to our sorry silk. So I'm just looking at which end I want to use, how the ruffles um, came uh, at the end of this to see. Yeah, I think I want to start with this one. So I'm just working in sections because hot glue dries quickly. So I'm just going to add just a little bit of glue here first. And I'm going to go ahead and lay this down. And I think I'm going to start just like this. And I'm going to press it down with my spoon. Just like that. Get it all pressed down. Okay, and then let's continue. Just a little bit more glue and lay it over on top and press it down. I can, I think you can see where this is going. This is a vintage of Moulin Rouge. I mean, it's, it is definitely boho. And you can get this look by getting book pages, pictures, out of your beautiful picture books and using them so you don't have to buy any digitals for this project. I'm just trimming this off and not very well either. Getting that trimmed off. Getting rid of the extra the extra string of the hot glue, adding a little more hot glue right down here at the bottom and getting this glued on. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and continue it going down. So I'm going to just add my glue right here and I'm going to continue this to go on down. little bit more. Bring this up so you can see it a little better. Okay. 
Here we go. Alrighty, so we have our net onto our envelope. I'm going to just trim this off. Oh goodness. There we go. Alrighty, I'm loving it. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to um, see about putting a little bit of maybe some, I don't know if I want that here or if I want it at the top. Maybe I want it at the top. Let's bring in our Sorry Silk. It's a bright orange. Isn't this beautiful? Now, this came from Crimson Heart Studio. She has a shop over on Etsy. I will list her name of her shop down below in the description. And I'm just taking the strings off. And once again, this is where, if you don't have a machine, and you like the look of that net, this is how you would apply it, because that's what I'm going to do with this sorry silk. I'm just adding a little bit of glue on top. I'm going to lay my sorry silk down and I am going to take my spoon and I'm just going to, actually my finger is going to work better, I'm going to pleat it. I didn't pleat that very well, but we will do a little better here. My finger might work a little better. Yeah. Just pleat it up. So I'm just bunching it up as I go. Got some strings that are happening on my sorry silk. I'm just going to take them off. There we go. And then I'm going to continue this. And I'm just going to bunch as I go. There we are. Okay. And keep going down. Lay the sorry silk down and then just bunch it. Just I'm pinching it. I'm just kind of pinching it. Okay, you can see how that's looking. Now I'm going to continue. I'm going to take it all the way down, but I have to do it in little sections because of my hot glue. It dries so very quickly. And as I bunch it, my sorry silk's and it starts fraying again, so I'm just trimming that off and I'll continue right here. I think. Oh, I'm loving it. I absolutely love it. I think I can finish it off now. Some glue right down here at the bottom. Make sure it's glued at the bottom. I'm going to trim it off. My goodness gracious, isn't that looking fantastic? All right, so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to take my black lace and I'm going to lay it right here and I'm going to kind of visualize where I need to trim it. And I'm thinking I need to trim it about right here. I'm going to give it a trim. I'll turn this over so I can see a little better what I'm doing. And I think what I want to do is I want to start on this part instead of starting at the end so I can get that stuck in there. I'm just laying that right on top, gluing it down. I kind of like these strings. I'm going to get them out of the way. I'm going to glue them down in the wrong spot. And straighten out my net. I'm going to lay it right over the top just like that. So adding my glue and then adding my lace. Pushing it down with my spoon. Right. Pulling off this glue that's on there. 
All right, that is looking fantastic. The next thing I would like to do is I am going to go ahead and make a bow with my sorry silk. And I think I want a little bit of a streamer. Sorry about the glue all over my fingers. And I'm just making a bow. Let's see if this is big enough. Yeah, that will look great. I'm going to cut my streamers. I'm still thinking of adding some of my eyelash yarn, and I don't know if I want black, so let's just visualize the black, and then let's visualize a little bit of red. And that's the red is because it really makes it boho. It just really takes it over the top. Oh, it definitely takes it over the top. I wonder what happens if we mix the two of them together and see how that's going to look. Maybe like this. Mm, not so much. I don't like it as well. I think I like just a little bit of red. And so I'm just going to cut a piece and I'm just going to add it right here. I'm going to put some glue right here. Pull that down. I won't get that in the way. And just add this right there. Press it down to see if I can get that glued on there. Perfect. Now let's add our bow. A little more glue. Adding the bow right there in the center with our little streamers coming down. Okay, now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to bring in my butterflies. So here are my butterflies and let's look and see what color. There's a yellow one we can add. It's tiny, isn't it? There's another one. Oh, I really like that one. There's that one. That one shows up well. But I don't know, that one's something. How about let's try a pink one? What do you think about a pink one? No, I like this one right here. So I'm going to place some glue onto my butterfly. I'm going to put him at an angle, just like that. Then I'm going to bring in my bling right here. And I'm going to trim this off, just like this. And then I think I have another piece of bling right here. Yeah, because I need three more. So two and one. Let's take this longer piece right here. And I'm going to actually lay my glue right down here. I'm going to take my bling and I'm going to place it right here. Right on that area of my envelope. Right there. Oh my goodness, this is coming together. I'm going to take a little bit of glue and I'm going to place it right here on the body of my butterfly. And I'm going to add some bling onto the body of the butterfly. And then I'm going to take my single one and I'm going to place it. I've got some, because my fingers are so covered in glue, I've got glue that's also in my bow. I just took a big funk out, so that'll be fine. And let's drop this right on the center, right on the knot of the bow. Oh my goodness. Whoops. Oh, there's the string. Let's cut those strings off just a little bit. I like them, but not that long. And I'm thinking I need to cut this off just a little bit. Yeah, maybe something like that. Oh my goodness, what do you think guys? I think it's boho. I think we have nailed it. So here's one that I have made, actually two. Now these are two different pictures. This one you can see is smaller, so you don't have to make it. Um, mine was seven by seven, this was eight by eight. I don't remember what this was, maybe that was seven by seven. Yep, these two are the same. Whatever is your picture, it has to be a square, so 4x4, four 8x8, four, 7x7, seven seven, you get the idea. 
but look how different the prints are and how different everything turned out, but yet it's the same. It is the same boho no matter which way you look at it. You guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this video, and if you have, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.